An alien species is invading Vancouver Island and its population has tripled in just one week, its known population at least. Biologists and wildlife experts were shocked when a snapping turtle was discovered near Port Alberni last week. They were stunned when a second snapping turtle was found in Machosan. And tonight they're not sure how to react with a third turtle surfacing. CTV's Jet Bazzi reports. And now there are three, three snapping turtles found in areas where they shouldn't be. These guys like um, muddy, muddy water. This small snapper is the latest discovery. He was found on the outskirts of Port Alberni near China Creek, the opposite side of town from where this one was found in a parking lot. That's what causes concern. These invasive omnivores are popping up all over Vancouver Island. This reptile was found here next to a small lake in Machosan, 191 kilometers away from where where these two were found. Now they live in tubs at the North Island Wildlife Recovery Center. I just find it very unusual that they would start, three would show up at our facility when we've had zero over 30 years. The species is native to eastern Canada, rarely found on this side of the Rockies. The turtles are likely abandoned pets, domestic snappers released into the wild, but three in one week? It seems weird. I've been in the years I've worked for the province, I haven't ever seen one, but my understanding from the reptile specialist in Victoria is that every year or two, one shows up somewhere in the province of BC. The snappers are aggressive and pose a threat to the island's natural habitat, and they may compete with the endangered native painted turtle. They are natural predators, they have claws and a powerful beak-like jaw. Even here at the Wildlife Centre, they're kept apart. They would um, definitely hurt each other, and uh, we don't want that. We want to see these go to a good home. The reptiles need special care. Due to their aggressive nature, they can't remain here. Robin hopes that a reptile refuge will take them. Someone big like um, Vancouver Aquarium or someone might find a place for them or, or something like that. And Dr. McKady will be working with them and uh, or Mountain View Farms or somebody. We don't know who. The bigger snapper is a female. She can lay eggs and the others could be males. Is it possible that these snappers can find each other in the wild and mate? If they're in the same water body, that they could find each other and breed, um, but reproduction would be the key. And our understanding is that the seasons on Vancouver Island are not hot enough and not long enough for the eggs to reach full maturity and actually hatch young. For now, they're confined in this room until someone comes and snaps them up, or until more of their species surface on the island and end up joining them here. Jeff Bassey, CTV News, Arrington.